The high cost of living, rise in fuel prices, and the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic have made it difficult for some Barbadians to meet their basic needs. These factors have resulted in a renewed call for relief after receiving May's electricity bills this week. Consumers say this is the highest bill they've had in recent times. It's like every time we get a bill, I, 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 up, up, and nobody can live through that and relax because I don't know how much coming the next month or the next month, so we're begging for a little ease. It's a concern to me because right now, I do know that we haven't got um, an increase in wages or pensions, but every minute the bill's going up. We've been seeing an increase like for, um, $25 more to $30 more. Or one time you will pay like $45 to $52. But I've been seeing an increase in like $81 to $85. So I guess it's the, what's going on in the world, you know, with the war and everything. And there's nothing that we can do right now. Everything has gone high. Despite cutting back, you're still seeing an increase? Still seeing an increase. So it ain't gonna have to do with if you take off light, if you shut down the hand. The things in Barbados, they are going up, and they are just going up. When I reached out to the Barbados Lights and Power Company for a comment, Manager Communications and Government Relations Jackie Marshall Clark declined to speak. But Barbadians did receive a message in their mail from Rodney Dotting manager of customer care. It revealed that the fuel clause adjustment for May 2022 is 0.49, a significant increase from 0.30 in May 2021. Mr. Dotton explained that the continued increase in international fuel prices is causing the FCA to rise. While he understands there is a social and economic impact from the COVID-19 pandemic and that Barbadians are paying more for most consumer goods, he notes that these rising costs may linger, given the uncertainty of global events. Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.